Hey, it's Katie and my channel is Is It Just Me? And I wanna talk about what's happening on the East Coast with the port strike. I wanna share a little bit about my personal experience being part of a union, dealing with a corporation um, and a potential strike. And I wanna share what my personal take is on it. So let me just cover real quick. I am a Teamster. I worked for UPS. Our contract was coming up a year and a half ago, two, you know, year and a half, two years ago. And it was extremely stressful because we were not going to make the money striking that we were making as we were able to work. So when you go on strike, depending on how your your uh, union is set up and how, you know, whether you opt in or opt out or if they mandatory it, but we pay into a strike fund. So we can use that fund if needed, if there is a strike that takes place. Um, some people opt out. Uh, thinking that maybe a strike will never happen. You kind of hear about strikes on TV. It doesn't really happen to you. So if you're not somebody that's paying into it, you don't have it. Maybe some unions don't even offer it. I don't know. But for us, ours is an opt-in, opt-out situation. So you're talking to your family and you're trying to prepare your finances and budgeting to survive a strike. And you're going into this blind. You don't know if it's, you know, if it's going to happen. You don't know how long it will last. How long should you prepare for um, it's scary. It's super scary. And it's not something that you want to do. And none of your coworkers want to do it either, but you're losing ground. Our last agreement was horrendous. And we had a lot of ground to make up because our wages are like not keeping up. So technically it's like you're making less money because you can't afford as much. Right? So these people like, gosh, I, I feel them. It's, it sucks. And I, I'm having a hard time with the way that the news media is pitching it, which is exactly what they did for us. I mean, if you guys go back and you look at the news during the time that there was all the reports of like UBS is going to go on strike, right? It was all talking about inflation. It was talking about disruption of the supply chain and how we we're going to have shortages and how much we were responsible for delivering and how that would impact the economy. And it really gets like pitched out there that basically like we're selfish. Like we're only thinking about ourselves um, it kind of paints us Americans, the average person against one another because they're going to go on strike and it's going to impact you, which sucks, you know, but the reality of it is, is like we are losing ground as a society. So if we do not fight a little bit, or I don't like the word fight, but like stand up, then we are going to lose it all. And we have to support each other in that. And we have to not get wrapped up in the fact that buying this narrative of this inflation and trying to lose like sight of where inflation actually comes from and it's here and whether they go on strike or not it is only going to continue to go up regardless of whatever number they want to make up and report and these people are not being selfish they are trying to survive and it takes a lot of strength and it is a community thing when you do this because it does and involve your family and you're hoping for the best outcome. But these big businesses, they have the money and they can afford it. And I tell you what, like I, you know, I don't think the average person is against these companies making profit. Like it is good for everybody because we need them to keep their doors open. I understand management making more money because they take on more responsibilities. I am not unrealistic in the, think that, in the thought that we all need to make the same amount of money. There is a lot of cost that goes into keeping the doors open on these businesses. So profit and that, none of that even bothers me. But when you are making more money profit wise, then you and your family can spend in a lifetime and somebody else cannot make next month's bills. There is a problem. We have to like make some changes. And so I just, I guess for me, it's like, I don't, I, I would encourage you not to get wrapped up in this whole inflation narrative, this whole supply chain disruption, um, and looking at these people any differently than you, um, because they're just trying to survive just like the rest of us. And I hate the narrative. I just hate it because I feel like it distracts from the reality. And the reality is big business and our government, they're in bed with one another and they've been taking and sucking us dry by printing and creating as much money as they want at the top and then making us work with it with our time and our energy, which is actually the true value. So um, I'm going to end there. Appreciate anybody that listens um, and take care.